Hello students, in this video we are going to be learning how to find the HCF using the prime factorization method. We will be solving two examples in the video. So HCF as the name suggests is the highest common factor of the numbers we are finding the HCF of. That means a single number which divides all the three numbers without leaving a remainder. So for finding the HCF we will be using the prime factorization method. In this method we divide these numbers using prime numbers and find the factors of the numbers. After finding the factors of the numbers we are going to find the highest common factor. First we will divide 12 and find the factors of this number. Then we will divide 16 and the next number is 24. So we will find the factors of all the three numbers separately. As 12 is an even number, it is easily divisible by 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 6 is also divisible by 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 is a prime number, it is only divisible by 3. 3 times 1 is 3. We got the factors of 12. Now we will divide 16 and find its factors. It is also even number, it is divisible by 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 8 is also even, it is divisible by 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 1 is 2. So we got the factors of 16. Now we'll divide 24 and we'll find its factors. And here we are going to use 2 because it is even number. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 is a prime number, it is only divisible by number 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So we got the factors of all the three numbers. Now for finding the HCF, we are going to write the factors of the three numbers separately like so. So 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Factors of 16 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Factors of 24 are 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 3. For finding the factors of all the three numbers, we are going to find the common factors in between the three numbers. So as we see, we have a factor 2, 2 and 2 in all the three numbers. So we will circle all the three numbers. This is a common factor. Again, we have another 2 common to all the three numbers. Next we have 3 here in 12, 3 is a factor of 6 but no 3 in 16. 3 is not a factor of 16 and the rest are not the common factors. So we are going to stop here and for finding the HCF we are going to take the product of the common factors. So we have common factor of 2 for all these 3 2 we are going to write the common factor only once. Next we have another 2 so we will write common factor once and we will take the product of the common factors. So the HCF is 2 times 2 which is equal to 4. So the HCF of 12, 16 and 24 is 4. That means 4 is the highest common number which can, can divide 12, 16 and 24 fully. Now let's come back to our second example which is finding the HCF of 42, 70 and 98. Here too we are going to find the factors of all the three numbers separately. So first we will divide 42 and find its factors. As 42 is even it is divisible by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. Now 21 is an odd number. Let's try the next prime number which is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. And 7 is a prime number which is only divisible by 7. So 7 times 1 is 7. We got all the factors of 42. Now we will find the factors of 70. It is an even number, it is divisible by 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 1 is remainder, this becomes 10, 2 times 5 is 10. 35 is an odd number, it is not divisible by 3. Let's try the next prime number 5, 5 times 7 is 35 and 7 is a prime number which is only divisible by 7, 7 times 1 is 7. Next we will divide 98 and find its factors, so it is an even number, 2 times 4 is 8, 1 is remainder, this becomes 18, 2 times 9 is 18. 49 is not divisible by the next prime number 3, nor it is divisible by 5. Let's try 7. 7 times 7 is 49 and 7 times 1 is 7. 
so we got the factors of all the three numbers now we'll write the factors of all the three numbers so 2 times 3 times 7 times 1 are the factors of 42 an important thing in to keep in mind here is 1 is a factor of all the numbers so we need to write 1 in all the products because sometimes we'll get some numbers where there is no common factor only 1 is the common factor so while finding HCA we should always write 1 in our factors next is 70 factors are 2 times 5 times 7 times 1 next number is 98 and the factors are 2 times 7 times 7 times 1. So now we'll find the common factors in between the three numbers. So here we see that 2 is common to all the three numbers. Next is 3. 3 is not there in other two numbers. Next is 7. 7 is also common in all the three numbers. 1 is common to all the numbers. The HCF will be the product of all the common factors. So for these 3, 2, we are going to write single to 2 next we'll multiply it by next common factor which is 7 and then by 1 so the hcf of all the three numbers is 2 times 7 which is 14 so hcf of 42 70 and 98 is 14 that means 42 70 and 90 are fully divisible by 14 and it is the highest common factor of the three numbers so this is how we find the HCF using the prime factorization method. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.